Hi and welcome to this week's video where I'm visiting all four campus libraries at University of Helsinki. The goal of this video is to show what studying is like at different libraries, but also to expand my horizon when looking for spots to study at. I am known for being a slave for my comfort zone, and in 2022 I want to break free and venture out to new places. Right off the bat, we are visiting the place to be, the city center campus, aka my home campus. I've spent countless of hours at the Helsinki University Main Library, or as we call it, Kaisa. From all the campuses I'm visiting this week, this is the one I feel most at home. The Main Library is a multidisciplinary library offering collections for law, arts and theology, as well as social and behavioral science. What draws me into this library is that it's very spacious and full of natural light. As we are in downtown Helsinki, I also like the big windows, through of which you can get a sense of the city's life. First, I decided to go all the way up to the 7th floor, where I rarely study. The sun and the great views were calling my name, and I had a short study sesh in the morning light. I've been to this location before, and what once again bothered my ability to focus was that it's popular and very open, with somewhat a lot of movement and commotion. I'm glad I came here to get some vitamin D, but I left in order to actually get some studying done throughout this video. In the middle of the building is a spiral staircase, which connects floors 2 to 7, on all of which you can study at. Most of the upper floors have similar layouts, and these are generally the floors I avoid, as they are more popular. So, for the sake of actually studying, I descended to the second floor, which is one of my personal favorites. The second floor also holds a large, quiet studying slash reading room, which I like if I have especially gruesome reading to do. After lunch, I felt more adventurous and headed to the fifth floor. I came across this cute nook to read at. This spot was spot on. It was comfy and peaceful, and I will definitely come here more often in the future. Next up on my list was Kumpula Campus Library, which is located, surprise surprise, at Kumpula Campus. The library is located at Physicum Building, which is one of the three main buildings on the campus. This campus and library offer information in mathematics and natural sciences. Kumpula Library is actually located in close proximity of where I live at. Even though I live right next to it, I had never visited it before. Compared to the main library, the Kumpula Campus Library is small and compact. It only has two floors. As 
a crazy plant lady, I was really into the botanical garden vibe on the first floor. It was a serene and calm working environment. After studying here for a while, it became a bit chilly, but thankfully the library offers these small blankets to help you keep warm. Because of the small size of the library, the place felt like it was getting crowded early on. I had to hop over to the second floor before lunch to secure a spot and to get a gist of what it's like to study on the upper floor as well. To be honest, the upper floor is dull, especially after the garden vibe on the first floor. To tackle the dullness, I chose a spot where I could look through the big windows at the front of the building. Even though the upper floor was uninteresting, I got a good chunk of work done throughout the day. After lunch, I was trying to look for a new spot, but the first floor didn't come through, so I took it to the second floor yet again and did some reading in one of these chairs. Overall, the library was a good experience, but due to the compact size, all commotion and movement can be heard and seen, so there are only few secluded spots you can escape to. Also, because I live so close to this campus, I feel like the threshold for me to skip studying and head home is a lot lower here than at the main library, for instance. Third place on my list was Meilahti Campus Library, nicknamed Terko. I felt like I was on an adventure because I had never visited this library or this campus before. To be honest, the main entrance of Terko is quite unassuming and I actually went to the wrong direction first when trying to locate the doorway. When entering, you can already see that Terko Library is full of natural light and quite clinical, but I suppose that's justifiable as the library is located at the medical campus. Terko offers collections in medicine and health science. Throughout the day I stayed at the second floor because the whole of downstairs area is for more informal activities when the upper floor is dedicated to quiet work. All the tables are meant for multiple students and are quite open, so to speak. So if your studying motivation somewhat depends on being surrounded by other students and peer pressure, this is the place for you. For my hermit-like studying habits, it was a bit too much. So naturally, I went on a hunt for a secluded corner. I found this cute chair that reminded me of an egg yolk. 
to have a study session at, and quite frankly, I loved it. It was a nice place to do a bit of reading at, while being able to look at the city's life through the window in front of me. I spent a good hour and a half on this chair, just finishing up some reading. While on the Echiok chair, I eavesdropped a group of med students talking about how to come up with the right diagnosis when assessing a patient. Chit chat about blood pressure, urine samples, and other additional testing that might need to be done made me feel like the odd one out. At this point, I was screaming and laughing internally that this is not my campus. After lunch, it was time to switch places again. It was nice and sunny, and I finished taking down some notes. Overall, even though I was able to find peaceful or more private nooks and hideouts here and there, the sounds and the commotion of the first floor emanated upwards due to the open structure of the building. I would consider coming to Terko again, depending on my studying schedule. I feel like this library is good for note-taking and essay writing, but perhaps not for in-depth reading. On the final day, I visited Viki Campus Library, the Runt of the Litter, it's located at the info center Corona, and yes, let's not go into the details why that name rings a bell. I've been to this library once before, years ago. All knowledge I might have had about this place were lost through the years because I was dumbfounded about the fact that the campus library shares the same premises with the public library operated by the city of Helsinki. Week Campus Library offers information services in biological and environmental sciences, agriculture and forestry, pharmacy, and veterinary medicine. The library is under construction, and the renovation is scheduled to be done sometime in the year 2022. After this renovation period, you can have a relaxing studying experience at the library, unlike what I had when visiting. So the 4th and the 5th floors being under construction, I started my day from the 2nd floor by a big window. As I was one of the first visitors in the morning, this spot was peaceful and lovely. But I actually wasn't feeling this library from the get-go. To change the scenery, I headed further into the 2nd floor. As a matter of fact, I felt like the whole library itself was all over the place, interior design-wise. It was chaotic and made me feel uneasy, which also hindered my focusing. I ended up only doing the bare minimum this day. From all the campus libraries, this was the one I felt least like at home. One thing that bothered me in this library was the lack of coat racks. I couldn't find a single one. In addition to the second floor, I did some work on the first floor as well as the basement floor. The latter also had some renovation being done, but because the spot I was at was mostly secluded, the noises in the end didn't really bother me that much. especially when I put headphones in. Without the renovation, I think I could get work done here quite well. Unfortunately for the library, because it's quite a ways from the city center, I find it to be rather rural and uninspiring to work at. 
I'd rather go to any of the other campuses and their respective libraries. Thank you for following me around at University of Helsinki. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see similar content in the future. Bye!